What's up YouTube, my name is Cole and today we're in my master bathroom and we're gonna be changing out my drain in my tub. So let's talk about what you need for this project. So the first thing you're gonna need is a kit. I picked this up at Lowe's for about 20 bucks. You can also go to Home Depot or other hardware stores. They're most likely gonna have these. The next thing you're gonna need is some plumber's putty. Um, I actually was lazy and I just picked this up on Amazon. But pretty much the only reason why you need this is to seal around the edge here to prevent water from penetrating um, under the tub. The next thing you're gonna need is kind of optional, but I would recommend it. Um, this is a drain wrench. Um, as you can see, there's two different uh, sizes. We're gonna be using the smaller one today and I have an adjustable wrench. Uh, the reason why you'd want this is because there's four contact points on it compared to taking, let's say, like a, a pair of pliers, like some needle nose pliers and sticking it in there and turning it. Uh, sometimes it'll work, but if it's stuck and this putty's really holding, it's just going to break it. It's going to make it a hard time for you. So I would highly recommend using a drain wrench when you're trying to remove this drain. All right, so we're in the tub. Let's get this drain changed. I have a touch toe drain right now, so the first thing I need to do is take off this cap. So to take off the cap, you just simply unscrew it, that's it. And if it's hard for you to unscrew it, just to get a better grip, you can use some channel locks. All right, that is out, and as you can see, it's got some threads on there. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna get your wrench. And like I said earlier, you wanna use the smaller side, and this is just gonna seat right in there. You get your adjustable wrench here and tighten it up and then you're going to push down here and you're going to twist. Okay. So yeah, once you break it free, you should just be able to turn it and get it out. All right, so sorry for this little break in the clips, but pretty much all I did in between the clip that you just saw and the next clip is just clean up the seating surface. So just spray it down and clean up that calcium and that old putty, and you should be ready for the next Open part. Open your package. Then you want to unscrew this here, the cap. Set that to the side. And as you can see, the drain wrench is going to fit in there as well. But before you stick the wrench in there, the first thing you want to do is take your plumber's putty. Just like Play-Doh, you want to take a little bit and then you want to roll it out. And you just want to lay it around the edge. So it should look something about like that. And once you apply the putty, you want to stick it in the hole and screw it in. And you can start using your wrench to help you get it in there. And as you're turning it, you're going to see this putty come out from around the edge of the drain. Once you get it hand tight, you just want to take your wrench and give it one little turn. There we go. So now it's nice and secure, and then what you're going to do is pull off the putty. And then from here, you can install your drain cap. And now it should work. Well, to remove my overflow cover, I'm gonna need a Phillips, and to install the new one, I need a flathead. So let's go ahead and get this one removed, and then we'll get the new one installed. Right, 
There we go. And if you want to, you can change this bracket here that goes in there. Let's see if I can get you a better shot so you can see what we're looking at. There we go, right there. Okay, so there's two Phillips screws holding this bracket in. Let's get those removed and I'm actually just gonna replace it just so it looks nicer. I'm gonna put this new one on. Putting it back in is just as easy. All right, there we go. The last thing left is to install this cover. I like sticking it, sticking it through the cover first and then kind of feeding it from the back. And I hold my cover in place. And you just tighten it up. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. If you want to see more how-tos in the future, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. But yeah, that's going to be it. Y'all have a great day.